meant All right, that. Let me, let me, I want to pick up on that because that was precisely the point in her long mm -hmm. dissent that Justice Sotomayor made. She said exactly that. If you're an athlete, if you're the, the child of an alumnus, a legacy, uh, any other group, you can lobby the admissions department to say give special weight, uh, preference to their, uh, to their admissions offer. The only group that can't are racial minorities. Is that fair, Ms. Grant? Uh, that's not true. Uh, no one, based on their race or their gender, can now lobby the regents to give preferential treatment to anyone based on their race or gender. The people of Michigan and the people in seven other states have said, take race and gender off the table. Uh, make it, uh, make but you're it agreeing so that with me. I'm saying, though, that an athlete can lobby and uh, a legacy can lobby, but someone can't on the basis of race. That, uh, that's true. Uh, but it's not just minorities that cannot lobby. No one based on their race. Uh, and, and, you know, to couch this in terms of minorities versus the majority, you know, Asians are uh, by no means a majority in this country, and yet they are discriminated against when they apply to colleges. I think that Justice Sotomayor's uh, dissent was unfortunate. You know, I think that good people can disagree on this issue, uh, but I think that she took it, the, the discourse, uh, to a to a level that was beyond what we've seen. And I think that her, her behavior, quite frankly, was unbecoming of a Supreme Court justice. I, I want to get to one other point, which, which Ms. Gratz brought, because people are talking about, well, there are remedies. And one of the remedies is that you don't use race, but you use socioeconomic factors, things like, uh, do you come from a poor school? Uh, are you the first kid in your family to go to college? And they've done that in some of the states where it's banned, like California, and they have found that in the majority of schools, the percentage percentage of Hispanics and, and, and African Americans has actually gone up. Is that another way to solve this problem? It isn't, because race and socioeconomics are not the same. I just want to say, this is a racist decision that takes us back to an era of states' rights, where white majorities can disenfranchise minority communities and now prevent us from getting higher education. This decision cannot stand. Ms. Gratz, you get the final word. I think that it is unbelievable that someone would sit here today and say that prohibiting racial discrimination is a racist decision. Uh, I, I think that that tells us where the level of discourse is today. Uh, look, good people can disagree, uh, but we can't have name calling and baiting like this. Uh, and what the people of Michigan, uh, the people in seven other states, and now the United States Supreme Court has said, is that people can choose to ban uh, race preferences and command equal treatment under the law for all individuals, regardless of race. The Ms. old Jim Crow is now the new Jim Crow, and it does have a name. Ms. Graps, Ms. Driver, thank you both. Fascinating debate, one that will obviously continue. We'll stay on top of this. Thank you both.